What's going on everybody? This is Broken Games HDR and in this video I'm going to give you my impressions for Grand Theft Auto the trilogy the definitive edition which like bro just why is it even called all that just call it the Grand Theft Auto trilogy remastered so that's what we're going to refer to it as. Now I think this should be a pretty short video because I think there are a specific few things that I need to touch on because based on the demographic of you know and the analytics of my channel um, most people who watch me are like 25 to 35 years old plus. Um, so I assume most people who watch me got to play at least one or all of the GTA trilogy. There might be some younger people watching who maybe didn't get a chance, which is why uh, this this trilogy being remastered is a good thing. But, you know, if you played one GTA, you know... Uh, you kind of know how it goes. You kind of know the formula. So I'm not going to get deep in the weeds of, you know, the story and the gameplay and all that things and all those things. I'm going to touch on what you really need to know, because I know a lot of people are on the fence about buying this based on some uh, a little sus uh, a few suspicious things that we've seen, a few uh, discouraging things that we've seen, mainly regarding the visuals. Right. And. For me, the most important thing was the gameplay and the controls with this quote unquote remaster, because what really makes, you know, the original versions of these games unplayable is not the visuals. It's honestly, you know, the, the controls. Um, and even though I'm someone I do consider myself a bit of a graphics whore, I could probably at least deal with playing the original versions of these games if the controls were fixed. So they've added three control schemes, modern, modern, alternate, and classic. Classic is obviously the control scheme, how it was back in the day. Modern is pretty much what we're typically uh, used to uh, today in, in gaming. Like for example, R2 is to attack. Um, it's also for gas when you're driving. Uh, L1 is now the weapon wheel. Um, square, I think square, yeah, square is actually jump. So that's a, that's a little bit weird. Um, X is, is sprint, uh, O it, uh, or rather circle is attack. So they've, you know, and, and square is to enter the vehicle. So they've, they've kind of modernized it to what we're used to now. Um, they've added a few quality of life things like re you can restart missions, uh, because before back in the day, uh, I believe when you, if you die during a mission, you pretty much had to go to the hospital and they would take your money so you'd have to restart at the hospital go back to the the mission start and everything like that now you could just restart a mission um they've in they've improved aiming now uh so there's three aiming options there's free aim classic aim and aim assist so aim assist is pretty much like a lock on aim right it, it's pretty much lock on aim snap aim that you've played in other gta games classic aim it's 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 snap on aim. It's the same thing except you pretty much strafe left to right. With aim assist, it gives you a little bit more freedom when you're when you're aiming. And then there's free aim, which I prefer, which I'm using, is exactly what it implies. You're completely in control of uh, aiming aiming your gun and, and everything like that. And it actually feels good. It, you know, it feels accurate. It feels responsive. So I like free aim um, in this. And like I said. The controls were the controls and the aiming were the most important thing for me in this remaster. So I would say they at least got that right. Um, now visuals, visuals is is probably where this trilogy falters the most. The most, by the way, I'm basing this on uh, only playing GTA Three and Vice, a little bit of Vice City. I did not cut on San San Andreas yet, but you know, for the most part, I, I think uh, most of these games function pretty much the same. But this is mainly based on three and a little bit of vice city um but the yeah the character models as many have seen online they're they're not they look weird right there's some instances where you might actually prefer how the game looked originally right the environments they did a good job the, the change that they did with the environments are good but the character models just look very odd and strange Right, because they tried to keep the original look um, somewhat intact. You can tell, like they didn't give this re quote unquote remaster their their all. They didn't give it their full effort. Right? They didn't. This isn't a if if Rockstar really wanted to, uh, or or the team that made this really wanted to uh, make a, a a 
fully from the ground up remaster or not, maybe if it's not even from the ground up just give it all their effort they could have this is clearly not that right so the character models don't look good the environments are definitely improved like weather effects and those and those things the frame rate can be up and down at some points which is strange because this is essentially a ps2 game i am playing on on i did buy uh well i didn't buy it but i am playing this on ps5 by the way there are two uh, modes fidelity and performance mode performance mode is for 60 fidelity is for uh fidelity is for 30 um and it's weird like yo why am i getting it's not all the time but it's like random spots where the frame rate just just drops to 30 for or close to 30 from 60 um yeah that that's odd so they need to release a few patches for that from what i can tell there's you know there's the original sound uh effects and and, and voices which Still hold up very well today, so I'm glad. I'm very glad those are still there. Um, I I know everybody's gonna say I'm crazy, but I never really cared about you know the music in in, in GTA games, bro. I, I turn off the music in the in the car like 90% of the time. I'm like if I wanted to listen to music, I could just listen to it outside of the game. I don't see what's so special about listening to listening to you know um, licensed music in the game. I could just listen to it outside of the game. I never you know understood the fascination in that but i know i'm I, I know i stand alone on that hill um but i just wanted to uh go through the the other list of improvements that uh rockstar uh listed to be in the game some of these i already talked about but the gta 5 style control layout improve weapon selection weapon wheel and radio station for faster selection uh improved mini maps allows uh weight allows you to mark waypoints um, improved gunplay and target control, as I mentioned. Uh, the option to restart missions, uh, failed missions immediately. Uh, there's trophies and achievements now. And by the way, GTA have, has the worst trophies always. They always want you to do some off-the-wall stuff. Like, I already looked at the trophies. And in one of the trophies, there's not a lot. There's like 30 in, in GTA 3, at least. And one of them is to, is to do 100 um, taxi rides. I'm like, bro, are you serious? Like, you might as well just go outside and become a real Uber driver. Um, there's Rockstar Social Club achievements. Uh, there's more supported languages. Of course, we know the better lighting, shadows, reflections, textures, uh, you know, all that stuff. So there's a lot more definition in the game. Like I said, overall, the game does look better. Um, some characters look better than the original, but there are other characters is like, yo, what did you even do to them? They look absolutely butchered. It looks like some characters, they gave more love and other characters were just completely half-assed, right? So if you are somebody that more or less wanted a complete 100%, you know, full effort from Rockstar remaster for the, for these three games, then you're going to be disappointed. This is this is not for you, right? Let me let me state that I'm having fun with this, right? The fun factor is still there. The fun factor from these games, even though they came out like 15 years ago, 15 plus years ago, has not left. To me, it's it's pretty much just as fun as when not just as fun, but close to this the same amount of fun as when you played it all the all those years ago. So the fun factor has went nowhere cuz this is a tried and true formula. So if you just want moderate, if you're okay with modernized controls, uh, moderately better visuals, um, and, and just, you know, they, they modernize it and, and they fix the gameplay a bit, some quality of life stuff. If you're okay with that, then yeah, you should buy this trilogy. But if you wanted them to go all the way and give their, you know, their 100% effort, like go that far, a true remaster or rather a true remake i think what some people would would want no this is not that and i think uh everybody you know has has realized that so that's up to you to decide now based on uh that information but like i said um i'm enjoying it to me it's uh it's definitely still still fun because like i said the formula and the and the gameplay loop still very enjoyable enjoyable so yeah, that's really all you need to know. Um, if there's any other questions, let me know in the comment section. Hit the like button. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Hit the notification bell so you can know anytime I upload a video or, or go live. I'm going to be playing Battlefield tomorrow, of course. Uh, live streaming it a lot. And um, yeah, that's that's really it, man. There's really not much other, not much to say other than that. So yeah, thank y'all for watching. I'm out of here. Peace.